How do you generate your own self-signed certificate and use it on your 40 gig? You can do it using OpenSSL, so let's do it. All right, before we start, you will need to download OpenSSL to your computer. Now, OpenSSL is a cryptography library that can be used to generate public keys, private keys, symmetric keys, play around with different encryption algorithms, and so on. Um, so, downloaded it. It is supported on all major environments, operating systems, such as Linux, Mac, Windows, and so on. So, do that and open up your terminal, your command line, either on Windows or on Mac. All right, so let's start by typing open SSL request. We're actually requesting an X509, which is the standard nowadays in digital certificates. And we're generating a new key. Now our key will be based on the RSA algorithm and the key size will be 2048 bits. All right, the second thing is to output the key uh, to a file which is encapsulated or uh, contained in a PEM uh, container and let's name our, our um, key file, let's name it 40k.pm. All right, the second thing is to output this, uh, those two keys, the key pairs, to a file that we will name 40c for the 40 certificate.pm and the last thing that you will need to do is to specify how long will the certificate be valid you'll do it using dash days and let's use it only for 365 days now when pressing enter we will actually generate the key pairs and we will start our certificate signing request. So let's press enter. And we need to enter up a, a password. So again, we're using the password and we're actually starting the CSR, the certificate signing request. Country name, the two letter code, IL. Uh, state is Israel. Um, locality city, which is the city where I live in or where my domain resides, Yahoo, organization unit, let's just use 40 tip. Again here, let's use 40 tip. You can press enter and everything will be all right. That's a self-signed certificate. All right, now let's just use the LS and look for the uh, 40K, which we have just generated. We have 40C, which is the cert, and we have 40K.pm. So let's use cut with 40k.pm and we can see the private key. The next thing to do is to move to our 40 gate. And here we will actually import the certificate. So import local certificate, certificate, and we need to upload two files. One of them is the cert and the second one is the key file. So certificate name, we have named it 40C, and there it is. And the second one is the key file, which is 40K. And there it is, both in a PM container. The password, you will need to enter the password that you have used, and let's press OK.